Hello and welcome to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. This is one of my childhood games that I used to play in the Sega Genesis. I remember it, just shooting off all monsters, not just zombies. Yeah, I used to play this when they had it in the Sega Genesis, but now we're going to try this out for the Super Nintendo. It's one of those zany games that pay homage to every horror films, monster movies, and whatnot. And since this is the time of Halloween, we're almost just around the corner. We're going to go do a try. Let's just try this out. And I cannot speak today, so sorry about that. I remember playing this game with my brother and all that. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. So with that said, let's get into this. And before we do, be sure to leave a notification bell, subscribe, and like. And we have ourselves the title screen. And all that B-movie vibe and all that. So there's actually a sequel to this, I believe called Go Patrol, but it doesn't live up to it. This is the password and the start. So yeah, we're gonna go through this a little light, a little bit. You see, I can't speak today, so it's just like, I said. So let's get into this. Now there are two options you can play. You can either play the boy or the girl. The boy with the 3D sunglasses. That's pretty 90s. And it has a water pistol. So let's get into this. Rescue the neighbors in Zombie Panic. So the option of this, as you can see, right off the bat, you have to save some of your neighbors before they get killed. And it's pretty fast. Let me see if I can get the map on. If you just hear them scream, that means they die. Let's see. There we go. That's the map right here. The person is in the swimming pool, so those zombies can't get to you. Get to him, excuse me. And the last people was over there is a baby. Let me just look around here first before we go any further. And there's the exit, but again, we're not going in there just yet. So the reason why I like the Super Nintendo version better than the Sega is because of the high quality noise and sounds. So yeah, and the coloring of the graphics as well as the how wide the screen is. This is actually a pretty simple and print it's pretty simple and easy premise just shoot all these enemies but again it's not just zombies that are roaming around it's just other monsters because it does have pay homage to every monster movies and horror films like I said so as you can see there are a lot of toxic waste in the area bringing the dead back to life It doesn't even seem like zombie ate my neighbors. It's just more like, to me, monsters ate my neighbors. All right, so all the victims saved. So let's go to the next area, to the exit portal. And we're done. Here are the results. I saved them all. I'm gonna be doing some editing in this video and stuff. Level 2, Evening of the Undead. And that was a close one. The army was called in to take care of this undead predicament.
Not one person needs to die. Not right now. Also in the Europe version, it's just titled Zombie. I don't know why. And there's the archaeology. Ology. Ologies. I can't speak, like I said. And that was a close one. Left one victim dead. So I'm picking up all the items here and there. Some of them is just soda bottles for grenades. Spoons for prevent silver stuff. I'm just going to roam around for a moment before moving on. Just to get more stuff. more keys and there's a potion so if you find a potion you can use that to turn into a beast and you better be careful when you're opening these cabinets because there are some ghouls that are hiding there that cost you your life or a health point I usually thought this health box is actually a pizza up Actually, a pizza box. Alright. Let me just use it. There we go. Rocket launcher. Some soda bottles. Oh, cans, whatever. Popcorn. Alright, let's go. On to the next level. All set. <laughs> Another one, success. Level three. Terror in aisle five. I'm gonna have to save as much enemies. I'm in victim people as I can. Jesus. I really cannot speak today. Gotta be careful here. This makes me run faster. Nice. And yes, there are killer dolls. I wonder what those represent are from. I can't hurry. There are two more, three more people left out there. Baby, no! At least I saved the um, child. And these things here are clown balloons, so they distract the enemies. <laughs> so right now there, those zombies are trying to beat the clown balloons, so it gives me enough time to s escape. So they're those dolls are actually reference to Child's Play, Chucky. Let me see if I can find a pizza box. There's one. I haven't used that thing yet. But we're on to the next level. A 
perfect score for all the victims saved. Level 4 Chainsaw Heads This I can't speak Damn it I got that messed up Stuttering And we got ourselves these Muscle Chainsaw wielding Psychos I wonder what those things represent Are from Already I'm turned into a giant beast So this helps you get through it obstacle just punch your way through anywhere and already I lost a victim so as you can see like I said if you hear one of those screams that means a victim is killed and those chainsaw wielding cycles are actually a collaboration with Leatherface and Jason Voorhees. There we go. That will keep them busy. Let me see if there's any more. again. Okay, let's see if I can do this again without messing up. And of course the control is a bit awkward. If that's the right word I'm looking for. up again. Come on, let's just beat these guys up. Hmm, I already did. So I guess this is more powerful too. The only thing powerful enough to kill him. There we go. There we go. At least three of them. I'm not sure how many I killed. And I'm gone. And there's that thing that I was talking about. Rocket launcher, that's what I need. Alright, let's see. side. Why is it not working? And I 
nice try. Made it. Victims saved again. And I got the password. Thank you. Level five. We're kid on the block. And I meant to do that. Okay, let's see. Oh, so basically this part is reference to, I believe, Invasion of the Body Snatcher. Because you have these little seed pods and all, all that. And they're turning into me, just like that. I really like the soundtrack for this. And one of the soldiers is dead. Killed by the little mushroom men. Let's see. Maybe I can just do this. And I already killed it. And do a little mowing. Because if you don't mold the entire thing, those little mushroom spores will grow. Alright, let's see. Uh, there we go, yeah. There, and the guy already got that attacked. And I'm dead. Baby's dead. Not quite. Thank you. Let me see if I can get through here. Nope. Oh yeah, I can, okay. I don't know why that guy is just standing, swimming in there when there is an... Not a zombie invasion, but... Monsters invading the neighborhood. I found a fire extinguisher. I can extinguish these guys. I'm finding more keys here and there. Almost there. Let's try this area. Kill three people and one soda. And I saved the baby. Pretty simple, but I lost one person.
Extra life, nice. More shocking than level 5, Pyramid of Fear. Alright, sorry about that. I had to do a little editing because I just got cut off. So now we're in the pyramids. And yes, we have more zombies. Let's see, I just hope we can we run into the mummy. Of course, I had to jinx it. Okay, I can do that. Alright. Alright, just let me see which other direction I should go. life though also if you go over this area with the uh, this part here is all different color then you can go through this where the sand is located go. Sorry about that, there's noises going on in the background, but we've already took care of that, so on to the next level. All victims save, as usual, for some of them. Level 7, Dr. Tung's Castle of Terror. Alright, so if you don't know who Dr. Tung is, we just already know who the antagonist is behind all that. And this part here, however, is pretty hard because we're not only dealing with zombies now, but also werewolves. So as you can see, if you see some victims that are over there, 
then that means they turn into werewolves. That's a close one. Let's go back inside the castle. See if we can find more victims to save. there was a way that I can go back to this item instead of just going through this back and forth. And I'm dead again. Has no effect on this one. I'm already dead. Alright. Time to bring in the big guy. There we go. Check um, some other rooms. This guy can't get in my way. I was wondering if there's another way, but I guess not. On to the next world. Forty feet of terror in Titanic Toddler. So this is our first boss fight. And this is a pretty hard one too because the boss we're fighting is a giant baby. Try to get the civilian as best you can. I'm gonna have to use the potion. There we go. I can. Junior needs a timeout anywhere. And I'm out. There we go. That was a close one. Well, thankfully, I've already saved enough victims in this area, so. I won't get crushed by the baby. Alright, there we go. That's the button I was trying to press. Can't 
get through here. by the toxic waste. No radiation poison for me, I guess. <laughs> and Babies does not like clowns. secret, but we've already saved enough victims. At least one of them. Yeah. On to the next level. Nine. Toxic Terror. Alright, we're back here again. Sort of. And now we're at to deal with these blob. Of course, we're going to have to end this video real soon. Which is another reference to uh, the 1950 sci-fi horror or 80s remake, remake, The Blob. And I got to be careful because these things will just fall on my head. got myself a game over. And that concludes Zombie Eight's My Neighbor. Let's play or let's try whatever. So yeah, sorry that I haven't been too chatty like I usually do. I stutter a lot and all that. But yeah, this is Zombie Eight My Neighbors. So yeah. Thank you for watching this, and like I always said, if there's anything that you love, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or press the notification button. So, until then, I will see you again in the next project. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to watch myself some scary movies, because we're near our favorite holiday, Halloween. So, goodbye.